Here we are with Summertime Rendering episode 17. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. And we begin with the intro again. So yeah. Will be interesting if we will find out more about Shide, right? That's what what it ended with the last episode. So yeah. Maybe we get more information about him. I mean, if someone on this island knows more about this whole thing, right? I would guess that it's the doctor, the father, right? Because he's basically working together with them. Somewhat, but I guess they won't tell him everything, right? Because they didn't want to keep his, the promise with him anyway. To make, a, to make a shadow of him and then take him with them, right? So I guess he probably also doesn't know much, I guess. Decision. One more day. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn. She looks so different. With the wet hair. Oh. <laughs> How reassuring. But I mean, we already know that she was normal until the festival, so... And by that time, everything should be resolved. So, should be safe. My hairiness? Sweatiness? The harsh truth comes out. Things she probably doesn't really think about and acknowledges. Because it hurts her. Really?
Dang. For 300 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably a while ago. Yeah, that must be crazy. He basically is like, no rest at all. Action, action, action. <laughs> With all the shit that happened. Seeing everyone die and just resetting, and then shit happens again. It must be so crazy. <clears throat> so here, take a sword. I have a bad feeling about this. I mean, if something happened to them, then rip. Oh. His wife, maybe? She can, like, untether it, right? So when he already had immunity back like two months ago, when did he got a shadow copy? I guess that's true.
And he absorbs her. So he has only so much body left. So if you damage his body so that it disappears, it won't recover really. So he has to get another shadow that can cover his arm up again. Oh, so he can get more loops out of it. Okay. Okay, so he has maybe a few more loops. Or maybe two more loops, three more loops. Can she regrow her hair with this? Oh, okay. Yep, hair growth. <laughs> very handy. Because her long hair is very handy because she can use it as like a weapon to whip it around. Please let nothing bad happen. I want to hear it. Does she want to talk about her feelings for him? Wow, that's a lot, teaching for so many years over generations, I guess it's normal, but seeing, in, seeing it in this perspective, right, with like only a few people that know each other, basically because the island is so small, <laughs> beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I 
out had it very much. And she got shadowed. I wonder if the shadow is still alive or also dead. I guess still alive, right? Probably just wandering around somewhere. Man, so far this is a very calm episode <laughs> after all the crazy shit from all the last episodes. Kids? Ooh. Ooh. Indeed. Okay, three shadows down. The kids are like, what the fuck is going on here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course you can tell something like this to kids and the kids are like awesome Yeah, I guess it's better that way. There are crazy good and bad shadows. Yeah, yeah, kid. That's your fantasy. Nani? Oh, she has a red eye. What is going on? I have to rewatch that. Mm-hmm, of course, alibis. Mm-hmm, exactly. That too. Because that's all the food for Heine.
him who the priest in the shrine. And then shit happened. Is he real or shadow maybe? I can't remember if we saw him maybe being a shadow or not. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, very... I say it every time. Very interesting. <laughs> but I think it's interesting. Um, first of all, very calm episode, right? I mean, since this anime started, <clears throat> it was basically action non-stop. Crazy shit left and right. So I feel like... <coughs> this, this feels like, since the beginning of the anime... We had like the first calm episode, <laughs> basically, where not that much crazy shit has hap happened. I mean, we had a bit of crazy shit with the end, with the teacher being a shadow and attacking the kids, right? Um, but yeah, let's let's wrap it up from the beginning, right? First of all, we have a uh, Nagumo in the bath, <laughs> and she looked so different, in my opinion. I wasn't sure if she was like. If that was somewhat of a flashback or something at first, because she looked so different. She looked younger, I would say, with the wet hair. But yeah, it, it wasn't. Um, whoops. And then... Um, um, yeah, they talked a bit about Heine and all this stuff, and that Ushio is basically part of Heine. Supposedly the eye that escaped, that's basically Ushio right now. Interesting. Um... And, I mean, they showed basically at the end of the episode, so we get to that later. And then, obviously, uh, Uso, uh, Su, So, and his father are talking and all that stuff. And we learn, basically, that the family is part of the shadow plot for, like, 300 years. Which is pretty crazy, so they it just carries over generation to generation, it seems like. But I guess we didn't get much else out of that. And then a bit more talking here, and... It, more talking there and then we had the hunter kill his wife talking a bit about that <clears throat> which makes me wonder he said his wife became a shadow two months ago and she tried to make a shadow of him but it didn't work out so because he already had his immunity so when did a shadow make a shadow of him and when did his shadow got killed or maybe his shadow didn't got killed but maybe his shadow didn't kill him in seven days and then just disappeared. Maybe that also gives you the immunity if the shadow can't kill you in seven days. So I wonder when that all happened. When he got a shadow the first time. Um, <clears throat> and then yeah, he kills her because he's like, yep, I mean, she's our enemy and all that stuff, right? I mean, but would be a, would be a bit regretful if he does this now and then at the end it turns out, hey, we can kill Heine. Stop all the bad shadows, but can keep the good shadows around. Then he would have killed her, his wife for nothing, and he could have kept her around, so. But I think that might not happen. That would be the... That would be the ultimate happy ending for this anime. If the bad shadows and Heine get killed, and the good shadows stick around, somehow. But I mean... Maybe that could be the case... Because we have basically Heine and then Ushio, who's like part of Heine, it seems like. So maybe if Ushio can like uh, separate the connection to Heine, maybe the good shadows we get out of that can stick around because they're not connected to Heine. So if Heine dies, maybe those shadows don't die. But we will see. I, I think that would be the ultimate happy ending for this anime. If that would be the case. And then yeah, um, we get a bit more backstory of like... Uh, Ushio that she was bullied as a foreigner and then we had the talk with Mio and her shadow which is kind of interesting because the shadow knows everything about Mio right because it is basically a copy of Mio 
so she knows all the negative thoughts she has about herself right <clears throat> and why she think uh, thinks that way because she thinks she is like less perfect less good in like every way than ushio so ushio is basically the perfect sister and so the shadow confrontates her with all her negative thoughts that she probably tries to avoid as much as possible it's like one of the it's it's interesting because i mean that's just human right that you try to not think so much about all the negative parts about yourself they are always like in your face because you are you right and if you look in the mirror then you see yourself right if there's something you don't like about yourself you see it but you try to not think about it too much because it's negative and then you have like in this case your shadow that just confrontates you about it and basically forces you to go to the person you love which is Shinpei in this case and well talk about your feelings with them right um so yeah i'm like i said i hope nothing bad happens and they talk about it i would be interested to see that happening right and then we had the scene with the teacher going after the children of obviously and yeah it makes sense you can't tell kids about you can give kids a story like that right good shadows bad shadows we fight for we we are the good guys and we fight against the bad shadows to save everyone and the kids just eat it up right that's how kids kids are but if the kids would go to someone and be like hey they're good shadows and they're bad shadows and they fight and hey we are in danger or something the people would be like yeah have fun playing your game <laughs> and then yeah i i rewatched the end scene with the ushio that when she had the red eye <clears throat> which makes sense i think i saw pictures of this like ushio with the blue eye and the red eye but i can't remember so it makes sense if this ushio is part of heine and it's basically the right eye of heine that escaped then it makes sense that she could get a right red eye that is basically heine and in this case it seems like it takes over right because she said uh the fool because um shimpei said that heine consumes more people <clears throat> to heal her wounds and the shadow said basically fool as a fool which is heine and that she can't heal by eating other people's because the body of shiori and heine is dead right so we saw it with ushio which makes sense i didn't thought about it it makes sense if ushio when she gets hurt she needs her real body that is dead something of it to recover her wounds basically she needs to copy it <clears throat> because otherwise the body can't really heal um and that's the case here too i guess even if it's heine who's like the mother of all the shadows i guess the same thing is still true for her so she would need the body of shiori or heine to recover her body she has currently otherwise the body keeps being damaged i guess she maybe can heal somewhat but eventually it will always like the wounds will always pop up again and so it's just like maybe she can avoid it for like a short time for the inevitable end, the inevitable end comes where the wounds take over and she can't like paint over it or something right <clears throat> so yeah that's very true that she said that and like i said it seems like that ushio was like taken over by heine like part of the real heine right because she didn't realize what was happening really and then yeah they basically took all the information together and obviously the shadows make up excuses like going on vacation and all that stuff or there is a debt that they are running from so that it doesn't seem suspicious that all these families are suddenly gone or something um because that's the families they take over basically and so yeah and then obviously he goes to the uh, priest in the shrine and like i said i don't know if he's like I can't remember if, if we saw him being bad or good. Um, or if maybe in the meantime, maybe he was good and now in the meantime the shadows maybe took over. We don't know that. So this can be a little bit suspect right now, right? If he turns out to be bad, he can just kill Shinpei right here. And then the next loop starts, right? That would be bad. But it seems like the line 
where the last loop is is far away so <clears throat> so it's not that the, the limit that where you are currently and where you will respawn when you die it seems like it's, it seems like it's more not moving in the same speed as your present time right so you can outpace it basically so it maybe moves only like certain a certain time frame every time you restart right you every time you die it may only moves maybe like a few minutes ahead to the next point so you can outpace it basically so that gives you a lot of leeway basically for the whole duration we have still left until the festival ends or starts whatever um so if he dies right now it could happen that he respawns far away again and then there's a lot they have to redo right but he also has all the information so based on the information he has he can change his plans and knows what is already going on and so they can do other stuff in the meantime right so it could be still good if he dies here it doesn't necessarily have to be bad because then he knows like i said he has the information and he knows that stuff so he they can do other stuff to use that time more efficiently maybe but i guess we will see maybe he is not even the shadow and then everything is safe um so yeah will be interesting but it was nice to have a more calm episode but still a lot to talk about because a lot was going on still even though it was calm but uh, yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time Bye bye